problem 188. In this problem, we have um, this hanging pendulum, which is in stationary condition, it's not moving. Um, we have this piece of clay, which is moving with the velocity of V1 toward this bar. And it's gonna hit the bar and it stick to it. And after this impact, everything is gonna start to rotate with angle of velocity of omega. And we are supposed to find that angle of velocity. So we have two conditions, before impact and after impact. So after impact, we are gonna have everything here and everything is going to start to rotate with angle of velocity of omega and we are supposed to find that omega right so what's what is going to happen during this impact during the impact we are going to have a force between this clay and the bar and also we are going to have some gravitational forces right and also we are going to have some forces some reaction forces at point o but uh, fortunately the moment of all of these forces about point O, well, all the forces, I mean the gravitational force and also these reaction forces at O. The impact forces are their, their internal forces, so we don't care about them. The moment of all of these forces about point O is equal to zero. So during the impact, we have sum of the moments about point O is equal to zero. And because we have this, we can write HO2 is equal to HO1. The angular momentum before impact is equal to angular momentum after impact. So we need to calculate both of these. Which HO2 is gonna be in terms of omega, so we can find omega from there. So what is HO1 in this condition? So um, the angular momentum of this mass about point O is equal to zero because it is not moving. So velocity is equal to zero. R cross mv is gonna be equal to zero too. For this one, uh, it is moving. The linear momentum of it is gonna be m1 times v1. And the moment of this vector, I mean m1 v1 about point O is gonna be R cross m1 v1 and r is L divided by two in this direction. So this vector cross product to this vector, m1, v1. Using right hand rule, which means you need to put your fingers in the direction of the first vector, then rotate it toward the second vector. So your thumb is gonna show upward, which means uh, everything is gonna be in a um, counterclockwise direction or positive direction. So um, the result is gonna be L divided by two times M1, V1. So that's gonna be the total angular momentum. After impact, everything is rotating with angular velocity of omega. So the velocity of this one is gonna be L times omega. And velocity of this clay is gonna be L divided by two times omega. So, the angular momentum about point O is gonna be equal to R cross MV for this one, mass of it is M2, so M2 times L times omega is gonna be the linear momentum, and the angular momentum of that linear momentum about point O is gonna be L cross product to this vector. Using right hand rule, that's gonna be in, uh, that cross product is gonna be in uh, counterclockwise direction. And the magnitude of that is going to be L times mass M2 times L omega. So it's going to be M2 L squared times omega. L cross L omega, right? Times M. And uh, the angular momentum for this one, similarly, is going to be um, M1 L divided by 2 times L divided by 2 times omega. So it's going to be L divided by 2 squared times omega. And these two must be equal to each other. So from here, I'm gonna have these two together is gonna be um, omega times m2 L squared plus m1 
times L squared divided by 4 is going to be equal to H01, which is 1 half of M1 L V1. So from here, we can find omega. So omega is going to be equal to L. One of the L's is going to cancel, cancel out. So uh, omega is going to be equal to 2M1. After simplifying it, it's going to be 2M1 divided by M1 plus 4 M2 times V1 divided by L.